Notre Dame has a new commitment in the 2021 class, one that pretty much came out of the blue, Patrick. This is Mike Singer of BlueAndGold.com, joined by our beat writer, Patrick Angle, to discuss Notre Dame's new commitment in the 2021 class. If you're watching this on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to us. And if you're listening via podcast, please leave us a five-star review wherever you're listening to this. New commitment, Los Gatos, California High School, um, up in uh, Northern California. Will Schweitzer, six foot four, two hundred fifteen pound defensive end. Um, really fascinating how this commitment came about. Patrick, we'll talk about his game, but I first wanted to discuss how this came together. So he announced a commitment to Nebraska. Actually, let's back it up a little bit before then. Notre Dame was in contact with Schweitzer in March, April, around that time frame. Defensive coordinator Clark Lee, recruiting coordinator Brian Polian. They were in contact with him. He was really hoping that offer would come. Offer doesn't come. Then he commits to Nebraska June 11th. Um, held offers from the likes of Arizona, Arizona State, uh, Harvard, uh, of course, Nebraska, Michigan State, Oregon State, TCU, Utah, Virginia Tech, Washington State. So, you know, 20 off- 23, 24 offers in total, um, you know, ends up picking Nebraska June 11th. Well, he decommits from the Cornhuskers August 16th and then posts right away on social media, well, hey, I'm committing <clears> – <throat> at 4 p.m. Pacific time. <laughs> he hadn't even announced that he ran, landed an offer from Notre Dame. And uh, I, I can't remember off the top of my head how many times I've seen that happen. A kid commit on scholarship without re- ounce, announcing it uh, anywhere on social media, which, of course, these kids don't have to announce anything. A commitment, an offer, they don't, they don't have to do anything. Um, but it, it's rare not to see any sort of reporting on an offer, especially – when a kid it has been reporting things like this in the past. So, um, so Schweitzer, he commits to Notre Dame. Again, six foot four, 215 pounder. Patrick probably fits in best at the, ro- uh, at the, um, the Viper spot, um, formerly the drop end, formerly the shark. Um, it's, it's changed names uh, over the past few years. So, um, let's just kind of start with this film. What, what, what do you think when you pop on his tape? Well, first, this was definitely, like you said, a CIA level stealth kind of recruitment. <laughs> it was. And on, on, on his end to, you know, conceal it and, and not announce it. But you think of, yeah, Viper with just the ability to kind of drop into coverage, have some length. And like you said, only listed it at 215 pounds right now. So definitely kind of a, a tweener type guy where you're going to be a stand-up rusher or a linebacker of, of some sort. He's played both of those in high school. You see him yeah. line up at tight end, inside linebacker, off ball, outside linebacker, and of course at defensive end. And it's not you know the uncommon in the last couple of years for Notre Dame to have had a, a lighter guy at that position. I mean, Julian O'Quarr played in the low 240s. Uh, the last couple of years at that Viper spot for Notre Dame. And you can certainly see uh, in him fitting in here in kind of a stand-up rusher, drop into coverage role. You like the fluidity, uh, coverage ability. It seems pretty technically sound at this point. I mean, just ability to stay disciplined on the edge. Has a couple of you know, pass rush moves where it's not like he's just you know, trying to run around a guy and at an offensive lineman and just hope he can beat him there with his speed. You, you see suddenness, you see change of direction, and then it, it linebackers and instincts and, and slipperiness that uh, you know show up in, in coverage and in fluidity that shows up there as well. He is one of these guys where you just throw on his tape and he's just a really good football player. I think we, the, every time we talk about these prospects, this is like they, they do a little bit of everything. Versatility is like the name of the game now. Um, he's listed at 215. I'm guessing that's more of like a last fall weight. He's probably, you know, 220, 225 now. You look at his frame, he's lanky. You know, we watch his tape, he's a pretty lanky kid. So I've got no worries about weight for him, considering he's going into his senior year. And then, you know, he's not someone you'd want to play as a freshman. And 
Um, so he, he would have at least two years before you'd really call on him. So, yeah, bulking up will not be a problem. He's ranked as the number 26 weak side defensive end in the country and number 41 prospect overall in the state of California, ranked as a 5.73 star, which is the highest designation for a three-star prospect, so just on the uh, cusp of four-star status. Um, Got to talk about kind of the, the, the take and, and how this – um, or what the impact is on, on the commitment list. So he's on paper Notre Dame's 18th commitment in the 2021 class and the fourth defensive line pledge. Well, I think this is an addition, and I'm shocked, right? Like if you would have told me six months ago that Notre Dame would have four defensive, event, or four defensive line commits, I would have been shocked uh, because I was expecting like two to three. But it seems like the writing is on the wall that Texas defensive end David Arbiara is, is probably going to uh, announce some kind of decommitment soon. That's what's been floated out there really since May. Um, I've certainly been hearing that, but pretty much what I've been told there is, look, you know, he, he's committed until he's not committed. <laughs> you know, So let's just wait and see what happens there. Um, so I think with, with Schweitzer's commitment, uh, or maybe it's Switzer or, 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 or just or, or something I haven't even guessed yet in terms of his pronunciation. Um, but I, I would expect the, the guys who sign a national letter of intent at Notre Dame at defensive line will be this young man, Gabriel Rubio and Jason Honey. I'm not expecting Aviara to, um, to end up inking with Notre Dame. And then, Everyone is going to want to compare. Well, who's the better prospect? You know, I would say they're both pretty similar in that they have um, a great upside. Schweitzer is probably more of the um, lankier, you know, versatile guy where Aviar was a little bit more of a dude. Um, but I would still, agree. yeah, I think it's just a, a, a matter of preference. And like I've said so many times, Notre Dame's in the business of getting really good football players who – are versatile and can you know, play different things, not necessarily guys who are – you can't find a home for him, right? I think that's the, the misconception is, like, he, he's a tweener. Like, we, we, you know, wh- where is he going to play? Like, no. <laughs> the, the, so guys like Schweitzer and, um, I mean, heck, Prince Colley and, and all the corners who could maybe move to safety, they're not tweeners. They are versatile, Um, and I mean, if he doesn't work out at defensive end, you know, I think he's a pretty athletic player who could play tight end. Um, he could be a really good special teams guy. Like I think all in all, he, he's a good take. I know Notre Dame fans are sick and tired of these three-star commitments. Um, but you know, they're they're probably already forgotten that, Hey, Rocco Spillers committed, but, uh, that's besides the point. Short-term memory recruiting is absolutely that. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of stand by calling him a tweener, but I think ultimately it's just kind of semantics here where, sure. all right, like you don't think he's going to, it's, you look at him and say, okay, right now, yeah, in his current state, too smallish to be a defensive end, or if you're looking at, uh, you know, just a regular defensive end or some team that doesn't use Viper or drop ends, whatever. And I mean, not quite, uh, uh, I don't know exactly what you put it, but somewhere in between defensive end linebacker. But no, I don't. I don't think it means that there's no position. I think it's kind of either one. Yeah. It's not like you, you. It's not like you get tweeners like Schweitzer here, but it means that they don't have a position anywhere. It's just all right. You kind of see what happens when you get them on campus. Yeah. And I don't think you look at uh, you know you're trying to get them up to you know two sixty or two seventy or whatever. I think there's certainly an amount of you know you want the coverage ability with him and some of the fluidity where you worry about you know all right how much weight can you put on before you lose some of that but he has the frame and even if you wanted to target a you know julian O'Quar in the 240s uh, that should be pretty doable all in all good football player i'd like to take for notre dame um i mean look we, we've been saying for for months now that I mean, Albiar has been committed on paper, but it's like, oh, you know, we, 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 that, that one's very much been up, up in the air. So if this is indeed his, his replacement, so to speak, 
I would say it's a pretty good one. I think you're absolutely looking at it's a lot better of a situation where, okay, you can get it now in mid August, then all right, you're not in mid January or late December or whatever it want to be, you know, taking a kid you just heard of a week ago, at least. Sure. Sure. It was a surprise to us, but you know, he'd been on Notre Dame's radar for a little while. Months. Yeah. That will do this commitment breakdown of 2021 defense event. Will Schweitzer again, a Sunday surprise for fighting Irish fans.